is for Dr. Sakib, um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, I don't think we truly appreciate the great work that Dr. Sakib has done uh, to track, record, uh, and credit our good history. Uh, we may not recognise the huge sacrifice role, but trust me, our children and our grandchildren will. Because our children and our grandchildren will ask the question when they're older, how did our family move here? How did we set up base? How did we establish ourselves? And the answer will be available to them because of the incredible work that Dr. Sackler has made to sincerely we'll give a few seconds to our community. In terms of Scots, um, I, I listened very carefully to uh, Nasser and I also listened to the uh, Assistant Chief Principal um, and I think he's right when he said that we are Scots first uh, and Pakistan second. I actually don't think we should refer to ourselves as New Scots anymore. Uh, after all these years and all these generations and after all our contributions, if we are just Scots by now, then I think there is a serious uh, issue. And let's think about the role that Scotland's Pakistani community uh, plays. Let's think about the pandemic as an example. If it wasn't for Scotland's Pakistani community and the UK's Pakistani community, we wouldn't have had a national health service that was able to treat and save lives. We wouldn't have had a vaccination team that has saved generations. We wouldn't have had the food distribution and food manufacturing companies across the country. We wouldn't have had those delivery drivers across the country. We wouldn't have had those transport workers across the country. Scotland and the UK's Pakistani community literally kept this country going in our darkest and most difficult moments. And we should never forget uh, that. And that then brings me on uh, to what I feel uh, our role is uh, going forward. And can I first of all say that uh, some might think when they see uh, Pakistanis in politics uh, and see Pakistanis in different political parties uh, in Scotland in politics, that somehow that demonstrates a division in Pakistani communities. Actually, I think uh, the opposite. I think it is a source of the immense strength that we now have Pakistanis being represented in every mainstream political party in Scotland and across the UK. Because we will only truly get real power if not if we just have more Pakistanis sitting in council chambers and parliaments, but actually having more Pakistanis and South Asians sitting in the corridors of power making the decisions. And that's where I'll end tonight is to say the change is coming and the days where our South Asian community are viewed as a vote bank or a curry bank are well and truly gone. The days where South Asian communities get to lead political parties and get to lead countries is now upon us. The days when South Asian communities get to decide not just uh, which school our children go to, but what they are taught in those schools is also coming. The days when our South Asian communities get to decide not just what shifts they do in our National Health Service, but actually how we operate and run and rebuild our National Health Service is coming. And the days where our South Asian community don't talk about the statistics of how many of them live in poverty, but actually get to work together to eradicate poverty is what coming. That's the mission of Scotland's Pakistani community and the UK's Pakistani community. That's the Scots that we truly are. And inshallah, we'll go on that journey together.